Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Chili's token right here. Once again, thank you for your continued support across the channel. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm glad that I get the comments that you're all learning in the space, and I will keep you updated on Chili's constantly. Okay, so quickly diving in then to, to Chili's. You can see that in the, on the hourly time frame there, we did spot the, the the head and shoulders pattern, and you can see it, it is actually played out. And like I say to you, all patterns are valid until invalid. And basically, the only way that pattern could have been made invalid is if you've gone on to make a higher high there taking out that that head of the head and shoulders pattern you know you you needed to see as march on and take that take out that high okay chill is relatively bullish okay not so much on the on the four hourly time frame on the daily mega bullish on the weekly mega bullish on the monthly extremely ultra bullish okay so what you what you see now is a breakdown again okay but you are seeing a breakdown outside of this pattern okay so effectively this pattern is still in play okay which is a descending triangle okay which usually you break out of which you have okay you've broken out upwards okay so this pattern is in play and what happens is you march on and you hit resistance and you, you fall back and you test support and you keep marching on but as you can see you're breaking down again but the positive thing to take note of here is you've broken down outside of this pattern which is a continuation pattern to the upside. And that target there is up there, as you know. And we will always keep you updated in this channel, okay? So potentially, you're still in play, okay? Even though you've got the four hourly bearish cross there, you are still in play to get to that high. But what you do need to target, okay? This pattern is still a pattern, as this was a pattern, and less invalidated, okay? So what you do, you have your target to that invalidates this pattern, okay? And the way this pattern is invalidated is the double M top pattern, which is a very uh, bearish pattern, so to speak. And it's a correction pattern, which we have spoken about previously in, in the earlier videos on Chili's, but I will run, run it by you again very quickly, okay? So you've gone up, you've formed a top, you've formed a, a lower top, basically a double top, it's a lower high. So it's, it's a sort of distinguished trend, okay? As you can see, distinguished trend starts to come down on itself and lose its power, but then it does find a level of support. Your support is this 047, okay? So take note of that, because once you start to lose that level of support, okay, then this pattern, is invalidated basically that the descending triangle pattern is invalidated but the double m top pattern reversal correction pattern is validated do you understand I'm, am i going too fast so you basically i'll try and explain it again really quickly so you come up you trade in in this channel it's called a descending triangle you've broken out okay your potential target when you break out of these is back to where you formed the top of the descending triangle. So at the moment, because you are above the base, the support line of this descending triangle, this is the pattern that's in play, the continuation to this level here, okay? So the only way that that is invalidated is if you fall out of that pattern. And to fall out, you would be falling out of the support line of the descending triangle which is this level here we've it we've touched it multiple times we've had never really had a continual close below that and I'm, i'll show you something in a minute okay the way that that pattern there will be invalidated is if you see the price action come down okay lose the support line now i don't know what that green line in there for i'll get rid of that uh, lose this support line i'm going to try and be for here with you okay because this is what we're doing the channel i don't just give you a price prediction say it's going to mars and, and then leave you alone you know scratching your head when it's correcting and stuff like that i will always keep you updated with the trades the in and outs and everything that i can see and keep you posted and hopefully you know keep you healthy and and, and of a positive mind in this space because these corrections are normal okay the, the part of the process of crypto so yes stay with it don't lose heart okay you will have these corrections and you will see breakdowns and you will see pumps just the way it works okay Nine times out of ten, all you're doing is testing support. Remember that as well, yeah? It's a patience game. So, effectively, you, you're breaking down, okay? And once you start to lose this base, okay, which is the, the support line of the descending triangle, and it is also the neckline of the double M top pattern, which is this pattern here, okay? Let's do this. So, we've got this double M pattern there like that. That's your double M pattern, which is a double top, which is a weakening trend, a reversal trend. And then once you break that neckline of this double M top, you have a, 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 a target down there. And that target is 
here this target here okay we've already mapped that target in a previous video so effectively you know you're still in play on the descending triangle because you broke out you're marching on you're pushing up but you are hitting resistance okay you 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 can see that you're in that 0236 which is at 53 cents you're really struggling to get above that okay we are really struggling to get above that level there and we are hitting it multiple times so that's really really strong level of resistance what we do need to see for chill is is a potential bounce off this support you can see it's got the support there off the wick okay so it's getting supported by some kind of bottom there which it did here re re sort of validate reaccumulate here down here get that support march on and then smash through that okay but what's not healthy and i'll be honest with you i'm going to become completely honest with you you have formed a bearish cross just here on the four hourly time frame okay just there a bearish cross and it's lower than this one okay so you can see the correction that you got off that bearish cross which was formed just there when the yellow line goes under the the red line there that's the the, the 20 ema goes below the 55 okay that's a bearish cross on the emas you can see that you had a 16% correction and you was closing just on this support line you didn't close below it do you see that that's so important okay it's so important that you don't close below it because when you close below this support line it means you're actually hitting this support line as resistance and then the double m top pattern comes into play and you are looking at that larger correction down there okay of 24 cents and when that opportunity arises you know you could go short okay you could go short okay so you could get confirmation a body close underneath the support line you know where you're seeing this sort of thing i'm going to show you now actually i'm going a bit fast i do apologize i'll just slow down a little bit so just there uh, you, you get that close body of the candle closes below this support line it confirms okay that confirms that this double m top pattern is valid and then this descending triangle which was taking you back up to the previous high is invalid so patterns are valid until invalid and it's it is really as simple as that and you, you start to see multiple patterns in trades okay so basically what you've got if you was to take on the short opportunity there when you got the close below that the body on the candle of the four hourly time frame you start to see multiple closes below this support line you would effectively be looking at that target down there which is a whopping 48 percent short trade you do get a uh, mar margin leverage trading on on binance for chillies so at that effectively you know i think it's 5x that's what i've took and you get 5x so you're 5x in that okay in a, in a short position so 5x times almost 50 is 250 percent almost so you're getting a 250 percent short position where you would set it and have your take profit level set because potentially you could see us come down there and wick down there and get bought back up that is a thing you know look at how quickly it went up but it can equally as quickly come back down the same okay just making you aware so i'm not fully bearish no 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 i'm not fully bearish what we're doing is we, we're targeting the the, the the fallback levels and you've got to you've got to have your you know your wits about you use common sense okay we all want it to keep going up forever but these drawbacks and these fallbacks testing support are very important to the growth of these uh, crypto projects okay they're very important so much for the ecosystem to come back and the, the, the market doesn't get completely over exhausted and completely overbought you do see these retests and these fallbacks to critical levels of support okay so basically you know you've got that short opportunity there if you was to close under this support line but what you've got now is you are above the support line so this play is still intact this descending triangle pattern is still in play so you potentially you've got a greater chance at the moment of going to that than you have of going to that okay do you see what i'm saying there even though you have formed the bearish cross okay the bearish cross is quite off-putting and you know if you was to see a rinse repeat of that particular correction there which is 15 percent, then you would potentially be looking at closing below this support line and quite far below it as well so that is something that you do need to keep an eye on okay so what i'm going to do look i'll show you an example so on the on that on the hourly time frame there okay you can see that we was targeting this head and shoulders pattern and you can see it went up and it started to get extinguished that the movement the, the price that highs were failing to make higher highs and you start to break down and we did have a target in here you know once you lose this support line it's called a, the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern which is failing to make higher highs then you are potentially looking at a breakdown and when you get the breakdown you need to see the body of the candle close below the support line okay once it starts to close below the pattern is valid okay so the valid of the, the validness of the pattern was in play and it had a higher probability of coming to fruition 
often being invalidated and the only way you could have invalidated that particular pattern was taking out this high you needed to break that high there okay so I'm being as far as I can in this channel with you okay and I'm trying to help you and educate you on these trades and patterns that we see and obviously hopefully give you some good profitable trades as well moving forward okay so you can see that we, we got the close below the support line of a neckline of the head and shoulders a weakening uh, buying trend okay and you can see the only way to, to to, to invalidate that pattern okay was to march on and make a new higher high it failed to do that it broke down below the support line closed below the support line the pattern was valid and then you had a breakdown target which is from the top of the top of the neckline there sorry the top of the neckline there something around there what we've done there and then down there to the to wherever it from the bottom and you can see that when it breaks down okay you can see it broke down from there it got the close you see it got that close below the support line this is what you need to see this is what i'm saying you, you you will see yourself come down yeah and fall through these support lines with wicks but it's the body is not fully closed below the support line of this uh, neckline okay that's what you're looking for so down here you didn't you didn't close below the support line so you're still in play with this pattern so again wherever you break down you, you you move your target and you can see we've got that close below there so that was our target and you can see that was met okay so that was a fantastic short trade there guys okay so that's what i'm trying to teach you in the channel there and that was a profitable short at the moment i did have my take profit set there and i was in a locked in a nine percent trade there and yeah it was good it was a good trade so i've took i took my profit i'm out of it because as you can see if i hadn't took my profit you've immediately got bought back up and you you've actually lost off your profit because you've actually uh what we do we do from there from the breakdown so currently if you if you wouldn't have took profit you, you're only four percent uh up on a short trade there for for chillies and that's basically how it works okay you can do leverage trading short and, and long on binance there the, the link is in the description below the video so at the moment just to confirm that we are still relatively bullish we are in a bit of a downtrend on the four hourly hopefully we can find this base of support find it reaccumulate here just gather our senses a bit and, and you know then sort of take stride a little bit and then march on and take out these resistance levels because if we have one more go at it okay if we come down and we start to find a really rock solid bottom level of support and we have another go at this 236 and we can't get close and above it then you know that's clarification that you, you are going to start to lose this trend here and you are going to start to lose this level of support and you may be looking at a bigger correction for for chilies on the grand scheme of things and obviously we will keep you updated in the channel where those support levels are okay once you do lose this level of support the double m top pattern so at the moment you know you could flick a coin at the moment but the, the bias is potentially more towards the the you know the, the 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 retracement of this because you are still in this pattern until you break down lose the support close below this support then you are in the correction pattern so I, I, I hope that makes sense i hope i've not rambled on too much there i've tried to be relatively thorough with you okay in what you do so any any questions that you have please do just get in the telegram group there you know please do get involved in the community i'm, I'm posting real-time updates on chilies and various other projects in in the telegram group there and as you can imagine i'm extremely busy at the moment which is good i want to be busy and i want to help you okay i want to help everybody in this space so that that is effectively chillies and it's not financial advice okay but you know what me personally what i would be looking to do here if we was to lose support i would potentially be looking to sell my chillies okay obviously i do the trades as well i do trade chili in and out in and out that you know the longs and set my targets and take profit and stuff like that as you've got to do because you've got to do a bit of trading but whatever you accumulated and whatever you're holding on to not financial advice please do not take this as financial advice i'm just saying that what i would potentially do if we do start to break down and lose this target here and do start to close above it i would potentially be looking at that target down there so i would effectively be selling my chilies okay and then reaccumulating them back there and you would see you know effectively if you've got you know 20 chili tokens you could buy back down there with and, and accumulate 40 chili tokens and and then obviously is it is it retest the levels of support there and when it marches back up you, you're potentially making more money because you've accumulated more chilies on the way up so it's effectively swing trading but i just want to reassure you quickly before i go that this level here is just merely a retest of the weekly uh 20 ema okay which is down there the yellow line okay by the time it 
get down there if it did i'm just saying that if it did break down and you was to see chilies correct and come down to that level then you know by the time it would get there because it's not going to play out overnight okay you know if it was to break down then you would potentially just merely be looking at a 20 ema retest at that time and, and that does happen okay it happens multiple times in, in an uptrend you can see you know up and down here for chilies on the weekly down there bounced off the yellow line there it's gone up got a little bit far away from it and, and it's, you're getting this curl in the ema which is perfectly healthy again and and you've had that retest there and potentially you know if you do break down you would be looking at that retest there and i would imagine that there'd be an enormous amount of buy pressure i did state that in my first ever chilies video that that there's a massive amount of buy pressure there okay because we bought what the pv pvr and we looked at that so again you know at the moment we are still in that trend where we are out of that descending triangle there and you are marching onwards and upwards for, for chilies but do target those uh, breakdown targets and we will keep you updated in the channel here i hope you enjoyed that video and and please do stay with the channel you know this up and down is part of crypto okay you're in this space now we're all learning together we're all evolving together and i will keep you updated as best as i can okay on all your favorite projects and tokens again get yourself in the telegram group do take care Bye bye